bum ba da 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 bum. Good morning, everybody. It's time to open an EV Heroes booster box that finally came in from Japan. I ordered this a while ago, and I'm so hyped for this set. So the cards we're looking for are the alternate art V Maxes for Glaceon, Leafeon, Sylveon, and the most expensive card in the set, Umbreon. If I can tear this goddamn shrink wrap. But yeah, this finally shipped in from Osaka, and I'm super excited. This is my first set of Japanese Pokemon cards ever. And I'm not quite sure how you, do you just open it from here? Where do you open it from? Just here, I'm assuming? Oh yeah. Just uh just opens right up. Oh right, because it's like a display box. You like punch out the back here. There we go. And then you like do one of these deals. There we go. Ta-da! And all of the packs. Jeez, there's a bit. There's quite a bit in here. Um, I'm not sure how many packs are in a Japanese booster box, but we got a lot. <laughs> they keep falling off. <laughs> we have a lot to get through. And uh, thankfully, though, Japanese packs only have five cards each, so it'll be a lot easier to get through these. I don't know if these are seeded in any sort of way, so I'm just gonna grab the first pack and crack right into it. There we go. A lot easier to open than English packs, for sure. Get rid of the, whatever that is. Now for Japanese packs, we take one of the front and then flip. We got, um, God, I, I don't, this is the problem with Japanese packs. I can't read Japanese and I forget this Pokemon's name. Oh, uh, well, hey, we got a Pikachu right off the bat. That's pretty nice. We got a <clears throat> Panda, Pan, I, cause I know that's Pancham. What's that dude's name? I can't remember. Um, I think that's, I forget his name. <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself. Also, it's very early in the morning. Ooh, and on the, uh, holy shit, okay. So right off the bat, first pack, we got a Vaporeon V, Rangeki. That's a Rapid Strike style. Holy shit, look at that card. Look at the holographic on that. Look at the foil. That's a nice looking motherfucker. Give it a nice little sleeve. And then we'll move on to the next Pack. Okay, so don't want to open these from the sides because then you get this corner mess But you know fuck it where did I even put the trash for the other one? Oh, it's over here. Everything's all over the place. I don't know what this is. I Don't know what this is here have that QR code for something anyway one to the front flip it over We have some kind of medallion We've got an electric. We have a uh, Mecargo. Hey, there's a Pancham. And on the back, we have Alex something. But that's our rare for the pack. You guys want to know something real nice? This set only has 69 cards. Excluding secret rares, of course. I think with secret rares, the actual set number is like 100 and one or some crazy insane shit like that there's a lot of cards in this set um it's all based around eevee and this is like one of the most hyped like sets this year I'm gonna go one at the front we got a sandy ghast got a um slugma that's his name oh uh, we got a little tynamo we have feebas and on the back ooh Ooh, foil uh, Zoroark. Look at that shine. Oh, that is so nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that in a sleeve. Get rid of some of this junk. Mm. 
Oh my god, come on. These are easier to open than American packs. Sure. One at the front. We got a little heart thingy, ribbon. We have a smeargle. Mudkip. Oh, jeez. I'm embarrassing myself. I don't know this Pokemon's name. And then on the back, we got a nice little Persian. There's one thing I've noticed so far about the Japanese cards. The quality of them is far higher than the English cards. Just, they're just nicer to hold. They feel a little thicker. I'm, I really like them. All right. Get rid of whatever the fuck that is. I'm gonna lower this actually just a tad. There we go. All right, we're gonna go one at the front. And we have a, I believe that's a heel ball. I could be wrong. Um, that's a, that's a Flora, 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 Fleur, 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 something, Gossa Fleur, that's what it is. Whoa, we got a trippy electrode, or a, a Voltorb. Fuck! <laughs> we have a mile following what appears to be some kind of paint trail. And on the back, we have, hey, the same paint trail, but it's an Eldegoss holographic. It's a very nice looking foil. Very nice looking foil. And we're gonna move on. The, what I like so far is that these packs are only five cards each. Moving through them doesn't take quite as much time. All right. Oh, ooh, almost revealed the, the, the rare. Uh, we got another medallion thing. We got another slugma. Got another Pikachu. Got that Smeargle. And we have a pincer. Ichigeki which is the single strike in English. Um, so while the Umbreon is the most expensive and rare card in this set, I personally really want the alternate art Sylveon. Even if, I, even if I can get the regular art, that would be fine. I just really love Sylveon. All right, one at the front and that's, um. I don't know who that is. It's some kind of Pokemon trainer. We got Macargo once again. Hey, we have a little bit of a Rotom. Hey, we have an Eevee. Nice, nice. And we have an Ichigeki uh, Impidimp. I believe that's his name. Impidimp. Let's grab the next pack. Just keep going. Once you pop, you can't stop. That's Pringles, baby. Eh. Gotta go one at the front first. Hey, we have another one of these. Electivoss, I think that's what its name is. I could be wrong. Another one of these guys. We got a Mantine. Got another Panda. Oh! What was I just saying about uh, Sylveon? Granted, this is the V, not the V Max, but it's a Sylveon, and I just, yes. Yes, please, thank you. Put you in a sleeve, put you right over there with your friends. And move on to the next friggin pack baby oh yeah opens nice and easy toss that over there one at the front we have a Kangaskhan a dupider that's its name um, I think that one's just called electric we have a Zoomeril and we have some kind of canteen water bottle sort of thingy. All right, nothing exciting in that pack, but we have a lot to go. I love that I could just tear it right down the spine. Throw that one, one at the front. Ooh, multicolored badge. It reminds me of Sonic Heroes. We got Pancham. Oh, what's the evolved form of Dupider? I can't remember. I can't remember that one's name. And that's Swampert. Nope. Marsh Tom. 
I'm not dumb, guys, I swear. I've been playing Pokemon for 20 years, I know them all. Throw that. I still don't know what those are for. I hope they're not important. Uh, we have some kind of stadium card. Is that Turfield Stadium? No, I don't think it's Turfield. But we got a Meryl. We got a... Um, no, that's Impidimp. And then evolves into something else. I don't know the newer ones quite yet. well yet. We got that one. And on the back, we have... Ooh, I like this holographic Entei. This is really cool looking. I really like the, the shine on that. So far, I've noticed the uh, Japanese holographics, I think, look nicer because they're also holographic around the entire border of the card. And I think that's a neat touch. That one just opened right up, dang. One at the front. We have the baby. I know that one. That's Sandy Gast? Oh yeah, the other- no, this is Palosand, right? Could be wrong. That's Zorua. We got a Meowth following the paint trail. Ooh, and then we have a Mil Milotic. Or Milotic. I don't know how people pronounce it. I pronounce it Milotic. Number 23 out of 69. Nice, 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 nice. No brakes on the EV Heroes train. No brakes at all. We have another kind of medallion. That's a Indeedy. We have a Mudkip once again. Uh, we got another panda. Ho! Oh, oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay. I thought this was a secret rare, but we got the full art. Leafeon V. Oh, this is such a nice looking card. It's got kind of a it's got kind of a texture to it. Look at that. Shine. Is this a secret rare? Yeah, this is actually a secret rare because it's above the set number. This is 70 out of 69. Holy shit. I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? Because it's above the set number. I'm gonna give it a hard case home. There we go. The first hard case in a while. I'm gonna put the. Oh. I guess I can't do that for right now. But. Um, you know what? Actually, I'll just go ahead and put it back there in the box. Soon it'll go in an actual box where, like, dust can't get to it and whatnot. That's what I've been doing with all my hard case cards. I put them in an actual box. Whoop. One in the back. And we have a flower girl. Smeargle. A zoom reel once more. Of all form of dupe We got a Persian and that was the last. <laughs> See what I mean? They go by so fast. I'm tempted to make a super pack of like five just to see what happens. Ooh, we have an uh, energy card of some sort. We have a Pikachu. Got the Mile. Uh, Impidimp. Okay. I don't know which is which because I only know Grimmsnarl, the final evolution of this. So uh, help me out in the comments. I would uh, very greatly appreciate it. Pack away, blah, front of the front. There's an electrode exploding. Gossifleur, Mag Cargo, Feebas, and on the back. <laughs> oh my god. We got another hit card, baby. We got the uh, Vaporeon, or er, no, Glaceon VMAX. My bad, full art. This isn't a secret rare, it's number uh, 25 out of 69. But, it is a VMAX, so, this VMAX, it's a VMAX and a full art, so, it will get the honor of being in a hard case. Go back there with a Leafeon. Alright. 
I found the secret to opening these packs. There's a, like a soft spot in the spine of all of these Japanese packs. So we have the some kind of dark medallion. Got the Eevee. We have the trippy Voltorb. We have a Dupiter. And then we have a holographic Florgis. Or is it Florgis? I'm not sure. What a nice looking card. I can't get over how good the shine is on all these holographics. Just absolutely breathtaking. All right, and then we have this, actually, this much to go, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip him over because one side was upside down for some reason. So I'm effectively reversing the order. There's a soft spot like right there that you can just, just sort of rip and tear until it is done. We have another, is this a love ball or a healing ball? I can't remember. We have that one. We got Tynamo, Meowth, and the Imp, the Fairy Tail Imp. Oh my god, so my uh, my bulk pile is getting a little, getting a little big. I don't know if I'm gonna have, if my Bulbasaur deck box over here is gonna have enough room to fit all of these. But I'm gonna go ahead and put what I have right now in the box. Oh yeah, okay. That, sh that should be fine. That, sh that should be fine. Put the that back there. Grab another pack. You know, I didn't think this would take as long as an Elite Trainer box, but I was wrong. All right, we got the Sandy Gas, Feebas, Voltorb, Eevee, and another Holographic Entei, our second one. Get the sleeve. And now we move on to the next pack. It's getting a little harder to tear those open just because I've torn open so many. I'm not sure how many packs are in these booster boxes. Um, we have that one again, Zoomeril, Gossiflor, a Slugma, ooh, a Holographic Mar or a Swampert, that's this one's actual name. You know, um, we are seeing some repeat cards just because the set number is so small. Um, because that's, in Japan, the set, no, they do like three sets per one English set, and then they just kind of compile them together. Um, I think that's how that works anyway. So the Japanese sets always have far less cards than the uh, English releases. Um, so you're gonna s naturally, when you do one of these kinds of videos, you're going to see a lot of repeat cards like a Milotic, Mile, that one, Zorua, and another Trainer. Which I'm not complaining at all. This set, I love like all of the artwork in this set. This set is, like, this This has definitely lived up to the hype, I would say. Now, if only I can get one of those alternate art VMAXs. Oh shit, we have something shiny on the back. Though I think it's just a holographic. Could be wrong. But we got a water bottle thingy. We got a Rotom. Evolve form Dupiter. Panda. Ooh, that's um, a holographic. I believe that one is Marsh Shadow, right? That Marsh Shadow is a Pokemon I have not encountered in any of the games. Um, I think that's Marsh Shadow. I could be wrong. But again, nice looking card, nice holographic. I really like it. Let's see if I can zoom in just a, just a tad. Just a tad. I know doing it 20 minutes into the video is kind of a dumb thing to do, but you know. One at the front. Ooh, we got a pincer. Meryl. That one. Meowth. And we have another... Gla oh, wait. No, this is Glaceon V. I almost said we have another Vaporeon V, but we do not. This is a Glaceon. Again, just look at the art. Just look at the art. It's so fucking good. Whew. My voice. You know what was not a good idea? Doing this... Um, before drinking any kind of water. I've only had coffee today. All right, 
so we got a Kangaskhan, Palosand, Tynamo, Gossifleur, and then the Sonic Heroes badge. That's just what I'm gonna call it, because I don't know what it actually is. So I'm just gonna call it the Sonic Heroes badge. Ooh, these ones you could just sort of unpants. <laughs> All right, ooh, shit. All right, we have Stadium, got an Eevee, uh, Imp, Panda, a Leafeon V, baby! This is the regular uh, version of the card. Number two out of 69. Again, if you want to compare the, uh, the Secret Rare full art to the regular card, these are both really good looking. I like the Secret Rare a little more. However, this is still a fucking amazing looking card. So, gets a sleeve. Another thing I've noticed is that the V cards, especially in general, way more high quality than the English cards. I don't know what that says about the American factories that print these cards, but um, these just feel really nice to hold. Then we got a marsh top on the back of that one. We only have a couple, three more packs left. This is the third to last. Boop. Throw. One at the front. We have Flababy, Dupiter, Mantine. That one. Ooh, Holographic Raichu! That took a minute for it to, to calculate in my brain. Holographic Raichu, look at that! That is so cool! I love him, he's so fat. Just wanna rub his belly. Just wanna rub his belly. Oh wait, no, actually we have three more packs. That one was the fourth to last. Just gonna center that. Do do. Toss. Oh, almost revealed the rare. <laughs> Heart charm thingy, Voltorb. Mud kit. Zorua. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh! Ooh, it's the Sylveon VMAX! Not the secret rare, but it's the Sylveon VMAX. This is the card that I'm one of the cards that I wanted the most. Immediately gets a sleeve, and of course. A hard case because VMAX but also because fucking Sylveon <sighs> that's such a pretty card look at it that is so pretty love Sylveon man love Sylveon coming away with this three hard case worthy cards so far that's a very nice from one of these uh, openings this is the second to last pack I'm gonna put one at the front. Flower Girl, Indeedy, Phoebus, Rodham, uh, Electrode on the back of that one. Final pack, there's still a chance, there's still a chance at one of the secret rare full arts. Toss it. All right, Whew. come on baby. Got this badge thingy. We have Smeargle, a Vault Form of Dupiter, Mad Cargo, and we end everything on a Persian. But, I mean, look at this. We got three hard case worthy cards out of this. We got a Sylveon V Max, we got the alternate art Leafeon V, and then I think this is, this is, uh, no, this is not a secret rare Glaceon V Max. But these are what I would consider big hits. For even just a pack like this, or a box like this, three big hits coming away with it, couldn't be happier. And plus we got some sick V's too, and all the really cool holographics. So including, the, I mean we got the Sylveon V and V Max, I couldn't be happier. So thank you guys so very much for watching this video, if you liked it give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one please consider subscribing, and until then I'll see you guys next time, Bye bye